What's up superstars? We are starting off a new YouTube series called Zero to Hero. In this video series, we're gonna be covering artwork solutions where we turn graphics that are zeros to graphics that are heroes. We get a bunch of artwork submissions on a daily basis and unfortunately some of them are limited to the quality of the artwork that they have access to. Some of our customers just don't have access to the previous artwork from the previous printer and some are just limited to a web quality version of the artwork which in most cases is not ideal for printing DTF with. So in this video series, we're going to be covering and sharing videos of us fixing graphics. Some of them are hard, some of them are easy, but most importantly, we're gonna be sharing the fundamentals that you're gonna be learning to teach you how to fix these graphics so that you might be able to tackle one of these projects yourself in the future. So let's head over to our screen so I can share this current project with you guys and I'll let you guys know what is required in order for us to fix this. Hi, so today we're going to be working on this artwork. We've all already run it through on AI, call it a vectorizer.io. But as you can see, there are still a lot of edges that needs cleaning off. It might take some time, but sometimes it gets done very quickly. But for this one, there are actually colors that have been messed up. So what we are going to do is try to clean those up and clean up the edges. So what I'm doing here is recreating the shapes that we would need for the shape that it is. We will utilize a pencil in conjunction with the Shape Builder tool to accomplish this task, with a primary focus on the Shape Builder tool itself. You can add or remove shapes when it overlaps. So as you can see on what happened, I overlapped them and then removed. So we are going to be doing this lot smooth till there's a really great tool for cleaning out edges, straightening them out because when using AI, it really isn't that accurate. So yeah, this is what we are going to do for the rest of the work. And then we'll try to spot things out and make sure that we don't miss any spots that have been messed up or any color that gets mixed in that isn't supposed to be. We're still using the smooth tool for this one, but it looks like there's some cuts happening here. And it's left a small edge and a small gap, and we don't want that. So let's use the pencil again to trace the shape, cover it up, and use the Shape Builder tool again. Ah uh, yeah, like this one. And once you use the Shape Builder to make a solid layer again, so the gap has been filled. Let's use this move to get into some other things out, since it doesn't always really going to be smooth. transition to the following section. We'll now explore zooming out. Check where are the other spots that still needs cleaning. Now on this one, it doesn't seem symmetrical to the other side, so it kind of looks messed up. So let's fix this. Fix this one with a quick, smooth tool. close, so I think we can move on to the next area. So the same thing with the other ones are still using the same tools, not to clean this area out. The access colors.
You know, let's zoom out again. Look for the areas that still need some cleaning up. And we would really need some keen eye to look for the small spots that need to be cleaned up. It isn't really easy, but it's kind of tedious, but... There, so you can see there are still very small areas that need cleanup. So it's a good thing that we put them. We're just cleaning it up. Just the usual. It doesn't really uh, have a lot of techniques, but it's repetitive. It just takes time. Let's look for some spots on it, and if there are still areas that would need cleaning. Here, yeah, sometimes using the eyedropper tool works a lot better, and just blend the excess color to the larger bar, and something like this. So then smooth it out and it looks good so we can proceed to the next one. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. So that's resize the image. It's going to be around 10 by 10 inches. So it's now ready to export. We are going to be exporting this one in PDF. So it's a vector file that's going to stay in high quality. Oh, looks like I missed one spot right here. So let's just fix this one real quick. I believe this one is the most ideal choice. We will proceed to export it as well. You may have overlooked a minor detail earlier, but now we are ready to finalize our work. And there you have it guys. Make sure you guys bookmark and save this video in case you want to refer back to some steps. We hope you found this video helpful and you learned a thing or two. If there's something specific you'd like to see or learn, please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please support the channel and smash that like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 and we need your help. If you want to see another awesome video where we utilize a very cool AI tool, make sure you check out that video next. My name's Phil. I'll catch you on that next one, guys.